Welcome to another video on advanced excel tricks. One of the highest viewed videos on my channel is about getting the serial numbers inside excel. So I thought let me create one more video explaining different methods through which you can get serial numbers inside excel. I have a simple data set as shown on the screen where I would like to get the serial numbers as currently highlighted on the screen. There are different ways through which you can get these serial numbers inside excel. I will be showing you following approaches through which you can get these serial numbers. The first one would be using the series option inside excel to get the serial number. Then using the simple sequence function in excel to get the serial number. Next would be a simple double click through mouse inside the excel cell. Then using the row function, count a function and finally the n function to get the serial numbers. I hope that you will find these simple tricks useful and will save your lot of time. So let us now move to excel and see all of these methods. Now currently on screen you can see that I have a blank excel sheet where I would like to get the serial number starting from 1 to 10,000. So how do I get it? I will simply type 1 in any of the cells, press enter and select that cell back. Under home tab I will simply select series option over here. And now since I want the data in columns, I will select the columns and step value will be 1. If increment value has to be 2. I will type 2 over here and final value is 10,000 where I want to stop. So I will simply type 10,000 and click OK. So immediately you can see that starting from 1 to 10,000 serial number has been entered. Now instead of a single column, I want in a single row starting from 1 to 20. So I can type 1 in any of the cells, select that cell back, go to home tab, then simply select series. This time I will select rows, step value will be 1 and 20 will be the final value where I want to stop. So let us click OK and now in a single row here you can see that the numbers starting from 1 to 20 has been entered. Now this is one of the approach of series functionality in Excel where you can use to get the serial numbers for any series. Now the limitation of this approach is that if I select any of the columns here and simply delete that here you can see that the sequential number will not update automatically. Same way with rows also if I select any of the rows and simply select and delete them I can see that the serial number is not updating automatically. So how do I mitigate this one? So there is a different functionality through which I can do that. So let me select and delete this first. Now let us quickly see the different functions through which we can get the serial number. The first one would be sequence. So I will simply start typing sequence and I want starting from 1 to 10,000. So I will simply type 10,000 over here, round bracket closed and press enter. So immediately here you can see that starting from 1 to 10,000, I am getting the numbers over here. Now even if I select any of the rows over here and simply right click and delete, you can still see that the numbers are still in a sequential order. So using this sequence, you can get any numbers. So if you want till 1 lakh, you can mention 1 lakh as well. You will get the sequential number. Now currently this is coming in a single column. If I want in a single row, I can simply start typing sequence. Now in one row, in 20 columns, I want starting number 1 and increment should be by 1. So simply typing this 4 inputs and let us press enter. So here you can see in multiple columns starting from 1, to 20 I am getting the sequential number. Now even if I delete any of the columns in between, it will still remain the sequential number will remain there. So this way using the sequence functionality, you can get your serial numbers very quickly. So now let us move on to the next sheet and see how we can use through double click the sequential number. Now here you can see that I have a dummy data set where I would like to have a serial number to be added. Now the simplest way is typing 1 and 2 over here then simply select both of these cells and simply double click on this bottom square. Here you can see immediately starting from 1 till 1000 the sequential number has been entered for me. So this is just a simple trick to get the sequential number. Now again like these are like starting numbers. So if I select any of the rows in between and if I delete it, the sequential number will not update automatically. I have to reselect 1 and 2 and simply double click to get my sequential number back. So this is the limitation of this double click. But let us say if I use sequence formula whether it will work properly. I am doing undo over here and now let me just simply delete this. Now when I am going to write sequence number I need to specify the how many numbers of rows where I want the numbers. So I can see that it is start 
till 1000 so i can simply type sequence and 1000 and i will get the sequential numbers so now if i delete any of the rows in between it will still work but here if you see at the bottom the sequential number still extends till 1000 only if i delete any rows it automatically does not changes that number so how do i do that that's what we'll just quickly see so let me first delete this and now i need to first count the number of rows over here so i can use the count a formula for that i can simply select this and press enter so here you can see the number is coming up now even if i delete any particular rows in between here you can see the numbers will get automatically changed so i can use this count a function inside my sequence so let me delete this simply start typing sequence then use count a and select this entire data set round bracket close round bracket close now here you can see starting from 1 to 1000 it is coming correctly now if i delete any of the rows in between immediately here you can see the sequence number will change and it will not extend till 1000 so based on your data set only the sequence number is extending up so this is the third approach through which we could get the sequential number now let us look at the fourth approach through row number how do i get it now there is a function called as a row inside excel i can simply type row no input to that and press enter it will give me the current row over here so current row is 2 i am getting 2 over here so if i want the sequential number i will see the previous row number is 1 and i will subtract that number from this function so i can simply subtract 1 and i will get the row numbers over here so if i double click on this it will extend till the last row and here you can see the sequential number till 1000 is coming correctly now if i delete any of the rows in between it will still work properly but let us imagine that if i have some blank rows at the top and see that this is not working correctly so in this scenario what you will have to do as i said you will have to look at the previous row number and then you will have to calculate that so i will simply say row and 4 and then just simply double click it and it will see that it will give me the correct sequential number now instead of hard coding this row number 4 how do i get the row numbers correctly so i can simply say row not roman row select the previous cell and press f4 round bracket closed and press enter and now if i simply double click i will still get the numbers so even if i add few more rows at the top it will still work properly so i've just fixed this row numbers over here and it will work so even if i delete any rows at the top it will still work properly so this is the fourth approach through which you can get the serial numbers inside excel now let us go back to the next sheet and see how we can get the serial numbers over here now here i don't want the serial numbers in all of the cells i want one over here i want two over here three over here and like that i want number to be displayed so here i don't want like the numbers for all of this to be displayed so how do i get it so i can use the count a functionality so i can simply say count a select this cell press semicolon b4 again and round bracket closed now here you can see one number is coming up now let me just fix f2 and fix this first b4 and let us simply drag it down and here you can see everywhere 1 2 3 4 is coming correctly so till east it is coming one properly after east it is coming two properly now somehow i need to eliminate this one to be displayed so i can simply use the if functionality wherever there is a blank i don't want any number to be displayed if it is not blank then number to be displayed that's what i want let me first delete this now we'll simply start typing if is blank this cell is blank then i don't want anything to be displayed but if it is not blank then i want count a to be used f4 round bracket close round bracket close so let me press f4 one more time and simply fix this f4 over here and now if i simply double click and now here you can see only wherever the west south anything is coming up the numbers are getting displayed so let us see if i type anything over here in between automatically the numbers will change so this sequential number will change based on whatever the texts are displayed under the region so if i delete this automatically my sequential number will change so this is the approach through the using count a you can get the serial numbers displayed over here now let us move on to the next sheet and see like if i want to get the serial numbers inside the region over here so i want one 
2 to be displayed over here simply drag and double click it will give me till east if i want o here as well again i have to redo it so i don't want to redo it so how do i get this sequential number very quickly inside this so i will simply select north then control shift and simply select back the region press control g alt s simply select blanks and let us click ok now here you can see only the blank cells have been selected so we'll start typing n round bracket open select the previous cell round bracket close and plus one and press enter so here you can see that all the sequential number has been properly entered over here so i, I hope guys using these different approaches you will get the serial numbers very quickly and hope this is useful to you see you guys in next video